So for the second part, I'm using another puzzle. The other one has to dry. I usually let them dry overnight. For this one, I am using another puzzle that we Mod Podge last week, and now I am going to tape the back. I'm using these peel and stick puzzle savers. Some people use a Mod Podge or glue on both sides. Some people use tape just on the back. I like to seal the front and put tape on the back. Um, basically, these packages are for thousand piece puzzles. Um, we place them on the back of the puzzle like this when it's flipped over on the foam board, and then we stick them like that. So when it's done, all we have to do is pick it up and it holds. I'm just going to go through this mm -hmm. to show you. There's different kinds of these tape that you can purchase. I like this one because they fit really well and they peel very easily. Like that. Just a couple more pieces. Also, just to add, when I Mod Podge, I use, when we use Mod Podge, we use these little foam brushes. You can use paint brushes. These I get at the dollar store or Amazon, really not expensive. So we use them to uh, seal and get away all the streaks. Almost finished this. And then we'll show you how sturdy it is when you stand it up. And then you can put it on the wall like that. You can frame it. I find, to be honest, I find for the number of puzzles that I do, it's not cost effective for me to start buying frames. Plus not all the frames fit the puzzles. So I just like to hang them with little 3M adhesive double side strips. Almost finished here, and then we'll show you what it's like when we stand it up. I think we just have two pieces left. So it doesn't take too long, and as you can see, they fit pretty well along the edge of the puzzle. If you do go a little over, you can trim, it's not a big deal, but we tend to get it right. And then once that's on, we'll hold it up to show you how it sticks and how it holds the puzzle in one piece, so you can hang it on the wall easily afterwards with little strips, or if you prefer thumbtacks or clips, whatever you like. And again, you can always have the option to frame them if you choose. There you go. Now we're going to hold it up. And as you can see, that is one of my favorites. That is my fashionista, my Ravensburger fashionista. It is in one whole piece. It can hang on the wall and it's solid in front and back. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.